Good morning. This is my seventh day in the Faroe Island. The weather today is quite nice comparing with yesterday. There's no wind. This is odd, and it's sunny. <laughs> like we should have gone hiking today instead. Yesterday the wind was crazy. So today's plan is to tidy up the place and do some cleaning first, and then I am going to write an email to Navia, you know, the local knitwear brand, to ask for some job opportunities. And then in the afternoon, probably I am going to go to the gym. I haven't been to gym for almost a week. Oh, more than a week. That's crazy. So I am going to the gym, and after that, I am going to a museum. My host recommended me to go. It's a local art museum, and yeah, I am going to check it out. Oh yeah, there is a design company nearby my host home. If they are open, I am also going to go to ask for some job opportunities. been spending the whole morning all by myself so good nobody disturbed me and because of the copyright thing I am trying to not to use any music in my videos but this is so good I'm just gonna dance without music in my video I don't care how awkward it looks as soon as I'm about to go out it rains cats and dogs but after literally 10 seconds, it stopped. So I'm just gonna go. Because if you're going to wait for the perfect timing to go out in the Faroe Island, you will never go out. <laughs> the weather is so unpredictable. And I am going to a little design company nearby my host home. And I am going to ask about some job opportunities. This is the confirmation dress. It's very similar to a wedding dress. So you made everything here, handmade? Yeah, we made everything, oh. but only not the dresses. You can see I'm working, so... Yes, I, it's Sonia's <laughs> workshop. It has everything, sewing machine and the pattern making table. It was very lovely to talk to the shop owner, who is also the main designer of this brand. I asked for a job opportunity, but she's not very keen on looking for a part-time worker. Uh, but anyways, I tried. Doesn't hurt to try. <laughs> wow, the weather gets better. While I was talking to her in the shop, it was raining like crazy, but for like 10 seconds, it stopped <laughs> now. And I can see the mountain from far. Oh, so nice. I haven't seen that a few days ago because it was so foggy, but now it shows itself. I don't think you can maintain your hairstyle very well in the Faroe Island. The wind is just blowing your hair like, like a mess all the time. And basically you have to wear a hat all the time. So, now I am in this bus station waiting for a local bus. In the capital, Torshan, all the public transport is free. So I am going to try that. I could have walked there, but the wind and the rain, I better not to torture myself. Let's just take a bus. This is my first bus ride in the Faroe Island. got off the bus it rains again and quite heavily so I am hiding in a, I don't know a car washing facility <laughs> I found out the rain in here is like this it rains super heavily for about 20 seconds and then it stops the Sun comes up and then after a while it rains again and then the wind blows like crazy but for a very short time, it stops and then the sun comes up again. <laughs> so it's a very hopeful and desperate situation. The rain hasn't stopped, but I'm just gonna go anyways. I tied up my hair. I don't care about hairstyles anymore. <laughs> 
because it's just gonna be rainy and windy all the time. <laughs> I should just go. I should just go directly to my destination and look at all these kids. They are still playing in the playground, disregarding the rain. So I should do what fairies do. Walk in the rain. Just go. Because <laughs> it's gonna be like this the whole day. If you're gonna wait for the rain to stop to go, you will go nowhere. <laughs> so, I have arrived to the National Museum. I am in a very interesting part of the museum where they have a lot of abstract paintings and some installation art. And this is the introduction in three languages. Faroese, Danish, and English. And by looking at it, just a brief glance, you can already see how different is Faroese from Danish. So I'm gonna check this place out. This piece is called don't touch my silver balls. Yeah, it's written here, for real. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't touch you, silver balls. <laughs> and there is a underground part as well. Oh, huge pieces. Really cool. This huge piece. This huge piece is called Quiet Ordinary Things. Like from far it looks like a doodle, but if you get closer, if you just get closer, you, you can see all these little details. Human faces, figures. Interesting. There's a lot to read from this painting, both from far and from close. I'm quite interested in this pink little thing. What do you think it is? Let me have a look at its title. <laughs> well, the title of this piece is called Column. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I first suspected that this is also a piece of artwork, but it looks like just a bunch of chairs. <laughs> But it looks artistic in this environment. Interesting. You are a flower in the winter. I miss you. With this poetic name. Oh, I am a flower in this environment. I almost missed this piece. It's a huge piece. If you didn't pay attention, you might think it's part of the wall, but it's uh, a painting, this grey thing. It's called Dima. Pardon me for my lack of knowledge in art. <laughs> this part of the museum consists of artworks from different times. You can see the Faroe Island through the eyes of different artists. Some of the pieces are really, really old, so you can expect spend a few hours appreciating their work in here. It's quite amazing. You can see works of different genres and from different period of time. There are about hundreds of pieces in here. Knitting with a local wool is a big part of various culture, and these little cute things. These neat things are interesting. I don't know the concept of it, but they look cute. <laughs> Maybe it's more artistic than I think, but for me, it looks like something I would like to hug in the winter. So puffy and so soft. This huge well in here is called Well War. And when you get closer, you can see the whole thing is consist of little soldiers 
and weapons. I don't know what material is it made of, but it looks quite shocking, both from far and from close. I don't know if it's related to the very controversial whaling in Faroe Island, you know. It's a very sensitive topic. It's a big part of its culture to kill whales in certain season, but internationally, it's condemned. People say it's cruel. The weather is so good when I'm indoor. It's like blue sky, no wind, no rain, but as soon as I go out, it's gonna rain. <laughs> <laughs> it happens all the time. Okay, after visiting the museum, I am going to the gym. I am out. I am out here. Is it going to start raining? Is it going to start raining? Not yet. <laughs> Let's see how long will this good weather be like good weather. For reaching the gym from the museum, I have to walk past this very lovely park and then I am going to take a bus oh it's such a lovely park in the middle of the city I couldn't help but to go a little further look at this forest trail in the middle of the city oh my god so lovely wonderland oh my god I can get lost in here but yeah I want to go <laughs> oh my god this is so lovely oh you don't have to go far if you want to hike. You just have to come to the museum and then go a little bit further into the park and then you are in this wonder Greenland. Oh, we're full of pine trees and lovely moss. This is what I love about Faroe Island. Like, no matter where you go, you are always in the nature. This is Alice Wonderland. There's even some mushrooms here. Oh, so beautiful. I hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> wow, look at this. You see, the museum is here, civilization, and the park here, and then if you just go here, then you can reach this jungle, and then there's actually a trail, yeah, very lovely trail, oh, oh, beautiful, oh my god. I think I'm gonna miss the bus. This park is so interesting. All the vegetations are so different from the place where I come from. And there is a little pond with a lot of lovely ducks. So lovely! Yeah, I'm definitely missing my bus. <laughs> but who cares? I spent a little too long time in that lovely forest. But I decided to walk to the gym instead of taking the bus because it's really one of those rare moments. It's not raining now, so let's 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 just walk. <laughs> I don't know if it's a stupid decision, but let's see. Ten minutes, still not raining. Look at these colorful houses. Oh shit, it starts raining now. <laughs> So when it's raining, I can't make videos because this camera is not waterproof. I should have brought my waterproof camera with me all the time. Yeah, in here. <laughs> so apparently I arrived at the gym. But I think this is it. Let's go. Wow, I can already hear some weight dropping sound. The locker here is so small, it's barely fitting my bag in. Shit, everyone in here is so good looking, including the receptionist. I feel a little inferior. <laughs>
I'm not very allergic today. The gym is so expensive. It's four times more expensive than in Hungary. So I better work my ass off. <laughs> there is a lovely sauna in the women changing room. Uh, but I didn't bring anything for the sauna, so I went in naked anyways. But luckily, I was the only one there, so I don't know the custom in here. Do people go into sauna naked or do they wrap themselves up? Oh, of course, it starts raining again. And I'm just gonna go to the supermarket downstairs, buy some food. I noticed there were so many good-looking Asian people in the gym but I didn't dare to ask them where are they from. First of all, I don't want to look like a weirdo. Second of all, I think this has become a sensitive question. You know, it's a very PC word. People might be offended. They, they might reply like, I'm from here, I'm Far East, or I'm from here, I'm an American, blah blah blah. So people might be offended. So I never dare to ask people where they are from nowadays it's just it was a genuine question and I am not a racist <laughs> but this has become a racist question nowadays even though a lot of times I really want to ask some Asian people where they are from I, I just don't ask yeah I mean yeah you have to be careful about these questions nowadays so annoying I mean even if I ask I'm not a racist, I'm not prejudiced or anything. I am I could be just innocently ignorant. <laughs> if you have no idea about what families usually eat for their dinner or lunch, in the supermarket there are very few fresh meat. Uh, this is a little annoying because I'm used to eat a lot of fresh fish and fresh meat. But in here, it's hard to find. Like the only section in this supermarket for fresh meat is only here. But most of them are processed sausages and stuff like that. So very little choice for me. But there's a lot of selection for cheese. Uh, the cheese here are so, so good. Most of them are Danish. I was trying a lot of flavors, different types of cheese. This brand is quite good and I love it. I am protecting my camera with my hand because it's raining again, of course. Okay, I better not to do this. I just put away the camera because it's raining quite heavily now. Oh, the bus arrived earlier. It was an easy ride. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it smells good. So Anna texted me saying she had cooked me some sausages and spaghetti. I think it's in the fridge. So nice of her. must do I don't have any views that I must see I don't have any route that I must take I just do whatever I just enjoy my existence yeah <laughs>